hello guys welcome back to my channel so this is igcse paper for course students paper 1058013 uh, october november 2020 in the first video we have covered question 1 to 12 in this video i will do the remaining questions so let's start Question number 13. The area of the parallelogram is same as the area of trapezium. So you can see in the diagram we have parallelogram here and we have trapezium here. Work out the value of x. We need to find out x. x is here. Uh, so as this area of uh, both shapes is same, so we can just write it down. So as you know, area of trapezium has formula half a plus b times height height is this x a is uh, the two parallel sides so we have this 11 and 7 as a and b and area of the uh, parallelogram is base times height right so we can write down here as we are given that area of trapezium is equal to area of parallelogram so area of trapezium is half a plus b a is 11 plus b is 7 times height is x right and then area of parallelogram is base times height base is 12 times 6 so now we will just calculate this is half 11 plus 7 it is 18 times x and this is 12 times 6 so you see 2 times 9 so we will have here 9x equals to 12 times 6 to find out x divided by 9 divided by 9 so both sides so when you simplify this uh, you can directly use calculator 12 times uh, 6 is 72 over 9 which is 8 so the value of x is 8. So 8 is our final answer. Right. Okay. Let's move to next question. Uh, number 14. The length L centimeter of a line 18.3 centimeters correct to nearest millimeters. Complete this statement about the value of L. So you can see we have to write down here upper bound and the lower bound. Uh, so 18.3. So we are going to take the upper bound here and the lower bound right for the upper bound we have to add 0 0.5 because this is centimeter so uh, we are taking half of that half of uh, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters so we are taking half of that so that will be 0 0.5 so we are going to add here 0 0.5 and we are going to subtract here 0 0.5 so our answer will be this is 18.35 and uh, this one is 18.25 right so and uh, this will be 18.35 here this is 18.25 that's it for question number 14 Question 15. By writing each number correct to one significant figure, estimate the value of. So, so we need to estimate these values first before we do any calculation. So you must show all your working. So this you can see this can be written as 38.7 can be written as 40. So we are going to take to the nearest tens and 13.2 is 10. 28.5 this is to near to 30 plus this will be 20 22.1 it is 20 so this is 400 divided by 30 plus 2 it is 50 so 40 divided by 5 it is 8 so our final answer will be 8 that's we are going to write down in this column number 16 a bag contains 7 red discs 
five green and two pink. Helen takes one disc at random, record the color and replaces uh, records the color and replaces it in the bag. Now she does this hundred and forty times. Show how many times she expects to take a green disc. So green we have five greens. So total number of discs we have total discs are total discs are uh, 7 plus 5 plus 2 so they are 14 uh, so uh, the green one so green is 5 out of 14 but we have total 140 so times 140 so this is 10 10 times 5 it is 50 so final answer is 50 number 17 expand the brackets and simplify so when you expand the bracket we have to multiply whatever we have outside inside the bracket 4 times 2 it is 8 m then if you have plus sign you are going to put plus if minus then minus so we have plus here plus 4 times 3 it is 12 now we have here 5 which is negative so it will be negative 5 m so now you have negative and negative outside so it will become positive 5 times 2 it is 10 so now we are going to combine the like terms if you see like terms are here 8 m and 5 m 8 minus 5 which is 3 m now then constant terms 12 plus 10 which is 22 all right so this is your final answer 3 m plus 22 I hope you understood. Question 18. Uh, Raymond walks 2460 meters in 33 minutes. Work out Raymond's average speed in kilometers per hour. So our answer should be in kilometers per hour. Right. So uh, first we will write down speed. Uh, sorry. The given things. We have distance here. So distance is. 2460 meters so if you divide this by 1000 that will become kilometer so this is 2.460 kilometers right now we are going to write down time so time it is uh, 33 minutes but we need this in hours so divide it by 60 so that will become the number of hours right now the average speed average speed is equals to total distance over time taken so total distance it is 2.460 we can skip 0 divided by 33 over 60 so how we can write down this 2.46 times 60 over 33 so let's calculate this with the calculator it is 2.46 2.46 times 60 divided by 33 so we have 4.47 this comes out to be 4.472723 three significant figures we can write it down as 4.47 kilometers per hour so a regular polygon has an exterior angle of 20 degrees work out the number of sides of this polygon so this is very simple number of sides you are gonna do uh, 108 and uh, sorry 360 divided by the angle so if you calculate this comes out to be 18 so number of sides will be 18 number 20 uh, without using calculator work out this calculation uh, you must show all your working and give your answers as a mixed number in its simplest form so we can start it like how to write down this 1 1 over 7 times First, we need to uh, convert this into as a mixed fraction. So, how are you going to do that? So, this is 7 times 1 plus 1 which is 8. 
so 8 over 7 so this will become 8 over 7 times similarly the other one it is 2 times 10 2 times 10 plus 1 which is 21 so it is 21 over 10 so now we can simplify you see we have 7 times 3 right and then we have here 2 times 4 2 times 5 so now what is uh, remaining here in the numerator it is 4 times 3 over here we have only 1 times 5 it is 12 over 5 so our answer should be a mixed number so uh, divide this by 2 when you divide 12 by 5 5 times 2 it is 10 so your remainder is 2 it is 2 2 over 5 so our final answer is 2 2 over 5 as a mixed fraction question 21 uh, you can see we are given here the sets first set a universal set is children in a group r stands for children who owns rabbit here those who own rabbit and h for children who own hamster hamster is here so there are 40 children in the group as a whole there are 40 children 19 children own a rabbit so this uh, circle should have total of 19 and 27 children own hamster so hamster is here we are already given that only hamster so there may be some those who have rabbit and hamster so that should come here so you can see we have here 27 so we are already given uh, 16 so we can write down 27 minus 16 so it is 11 so that means how many more are needed to add here to make this 27 so this will come here so you can see now as a whole hamster will be 11 plus 16 which is 27 now th this is for the hamsters now for the rabbits so rabbits we have 19 children or those who so we have already 11 so 19 minus 11 which is 8 so 8 will come here so now you can see our rabbit is 8 plus 11 19 and hamster is 27 so uh, that's it for the first part second write down the n r intersection h this is intersection this is the common area so we are writing the common elements common is this one here which comes in both so number of elements in r intersection this one is 11 so our answer for this is 11 so let's move to next question question 22 you can see this is a triangle here calculate pq so we need to find out this uh, side pq so you can see this is a right angle triangle at q so we can easily use pythagoras theorem so by pythagoras theorem we have hypotenuse square hypotenuse is pr here pr square this will be equal to sum of square of other two so rq square plus pq square right now pr is 11.5 squared and rq is 7.2 squared plus pq we need to find it out so we can shift this to other side so 11.5 squared minus 7.2 squared q squared right so let's see how much is that uh, 11.5 squared 11 Point five squared is equal to 132.25 this is 132.25 minus 7.2 squared this is 51.84 pq squared so pq squared is we just subtract this one 132.25 132.25 minus 51.84 so this is 80.41 and we need square root of this 80.41 so pq will be square root of 80.41 so square root 80.41 so this is 
सो अवर फाइनल आंसर इज एट पॉइंट नाइन सेवन राइट इट्स वेरी सिंपल जस्ट द कैलकुलेशन टू अप्लाई ऑन पाथागर नाउ नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री या आई थिंक दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस पेपर सो वी हैव हियर द साइमल टेनियस इक्वेशन सॉल्व द साइमल टेनियस इक्वेशन यू मस्ट शो ऑल यूर वर्किंग सो वी हैव दीज टू इक्वेशन हियर आई एम गोना राइट इट अगेन थ्री एक्स माइनस एट वाई इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी टू द अदर वन यू सी हियर वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस इक्वेशन बाय टू टू मेक दिस एट बिकॉज वी हैव एट वाई हियर सो वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस इंटायर इक्वेशन बाय टू दिस विल बिकम टू एक्स फोर टाइम टू इट इज एट वाई इक्वल्स टू फोर टाइम टू इट इज एट नाउ यू सी वी हैव different signs here this is positive this is negative so we can just add them when you add this 22 plus 8 is 30 this and this is gone so 3 plus 2 it is 5x so x will be 30 over 5 which is 6 so value of x is 6 now we can take any of these equations to substitute the value of uh, x so i'm taking the second equation see so this is x plus 4y equals to 4 so x is 6 6 plus 4y is equal to 4 so 4y is 4 minus 6 we just shifted x uh, 6 to other side negative 2 divide by 4 divide by 4 so this is minus half or minus 0.5 so we can write down 0.5 with the negative sign so that's it for this paper i hope you understood all the questions but if there is anything let me know in the comment section i will try to explain it again so please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you thanks for watching